Hey folks, it's Rick. So this is this is not a review. This is not a demo. This is really just my commentary on <clears throat> mini pedals. Um, some people love pedals. Some people only love the pedals that they have and they use. I get that. There are people who um, I'll just clean it up a little. There are people who only buy the pedals they need, and once they have that need fulfilled, they're like, I don't need that pedal, I have this. <coughs> and that's great. There are people who don't mind spending money on pedals. I'd be one of them. Um, I haven't spent an exorbitant amount yet. but. And then there are people who are always looking for, you know, the, the less expensive alternative. And so maybe this is a, a video that um, talks to you. But here I have put together, let's see if I can show this. Um, this is a pedal board made up of all my mini pedals. All of them. Well, except for the Hotone Wah Volume Expression. But I have a different Wah Volume, or just Volume Expression pedal and a Wah pedal here. So I've got that covered. But I want to talk about, are, is it worth it to buy these pedals? Are they good? Are they bad? And by the end of this video, uh, hopefully my, um, my position on this will be clear. Um, I've bought about 13 of these little pedals over the last couple of years. And some of them I think are great. Some of them I think are good. Some of them, I wouldn't buy it again, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, having said that, those are very inexpensive ones. It, one of them I sold, again, because I, I just didn't like it. But I'm not going to um, I'm not going to complain about any pedals here too much. I'm just going to say, do I like it? Do I not like it? Uh, is it worth buying? What does it do? And I'm just going to step through each of them. So, uh, let me grab this. Here comes the noise. Velcro. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to switch. I'm just going to show the pedal board. Okay, good enough. I think everybody can see the pedals. Maybe I'll change the lighting a little bit so it's not killing them. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, this is good. Okay, so, like I said, I don't, like, love every one of these, but I think they're good. Um, what do we have on right now? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's my clean sound going through all of these pedals with none of them turned on, and most of them are... Um, most of them are true bypass, so no buffers. So my tone could probably be better if I was going direct into the amp. Doesn't matter right now, like I said, it's not a demo. Okay, so from beginning, here's my um, mini Crybaby wah pedal. Is this a good pedal? Yes. Do I use this pedal all the time? Anytime I need wah? This is the pedal I use. Um, has this pedal taken the place of the larger wah pedal? Yes, absolutely it has. Um, there's no reason in my mind to have a larger wah pedal. This works just fine. Takes up less space on the board. Blah, blah, blah. Just don't need anything different. Okay, so yes, I give this guy an A+. And so far, has been no problems. Not that I use Watt a lot. I use it a little bit. Okay. From there, here is a Donner. Oh, and I, I think I paid 100 bucks for this. Maybe. I forget. Yeah, it was 100 bucks. I remember saying, how much is that? They said 100 bucks. And I looked at it. I said, it's cute. I'll buy it. Okay. Here is the Donner Ultimate Comp. Um, is this a good pedal? Uh, I would say it's a, it gets a B. It does what it's supposed to do, it's a compressor. 
So I can really compress my tone. And it's okay. It sounds pretty good. It's good for a boost too, you know. If you want to does what a compressor is supposed to do. Does it do it beautifully? No. Um, I'd say that this works best on a clean tone. You can get a nice tone. Here it's got a treble switch. But it does drive the signal a little bit more than I would like. and It's not as um, versatile. But I paid 20 bucks for it used. It was probably a good 20 bucks spent. Uh, would I take it on a gig? Probably not. Well, I took it to when I played... Um, I played a musical in the spring. And I had two pedal boards. One for acoustic and one for electric. I used this on the acoustic pedal board. It sounded pretty good. I liked it. But on an electric gig, the second breakfast band, no way. I wouldn't bring this. Because I have this. Shut you off. This uh, is the SP compressor. Um, I would say, is this a good pedal? Absolutely, it's a fantastic pedal. Um, would I replace this with a larger pedal? No, I would not. This is the only compressor really that I need. And while I might buy 20 different uh, overdrive pedals, I'm probably only going to use one type of compressor because this is the type of compressor I like to have. You can set it on three settings. You can have it on the low setting, on the high setting, or on the mid setting, which is where I keep it. Um, it's got a blend knob, which is really nice. got a volume. Here's where I keep it all the time. I leave this on most of the time. I don't leave it on if I'm strumming acoustic. If I'm finger picking acoustic, I leave it on. If I'm strumming acoustic, I shut it off. Um, moving on. The Hustle Drive. The Hustle Drive, is it a good pedal? Sure. Is it my favorite? No. In fact, I'll go on record right now saying that if somebody said you have to sell one of your overdrive pedals, which one's it going to be? I would say, oh, the Hustle Drive, it's gone. Because, so this is a clone of an OCD. I've already sold my OCD. I had an OCD. I was like, yeah, this is nice, but I don't really like that tone. And I sold it. And then I said, you know what? I do like that tone for some things. Maybe I'll just buy the inexpensive version, the Moore Hustle Drive, which is a really close sounding clone. for a rock tone um, but you've heard me complain about fizzy pedals this guy's pretty fizzy so yeah I don't like that much fizz here's where I use it right about there um, and I always put it in between these two guys and now, really nice tone from the Hustle Drive.
off you go. Next, more rumble drive. Oh, would I replace this with the other OCD pedal? Uh, if I got the version 1, maybe. Because I understand the version 1 was better. But I would not replace this with any old OCD pedal. It's just not that important to me. Um, good pedal, but eh, it's okay. Rumble drive. Ooh, that switch is hurting. Anyway, the rumble drive is another more pedal. Uh, and I, I like it a lot. I don't know why, but I do. Well... So this is where I like to set it. I set the tone turned all the way down and the voice all the way up. Supposed to be a clone of a Dumble amp. I don't know. I've said this before, I've, I've never used the Dumble. Um, again, if you put it between these two guys. Quite a magic sound. Um, I really like this pedal a lot. I don't ever turn the gain past here. Uh, sometimes I even have it set about there to get this. Or this. Would I replace this with any bigger pedal? No. Um, would this be my only drive on a board? Maybe. Like if sometime I wanted to go out with like a wee tiny pedal board, I might, but I have the dude, so it's not really that likely. I will always have this probably as a an additional drive on a board. Okay. Let's shut these guys off. The Spark Mini Booster by TC Electronic. Um, uh, this is a really good pedal, but all it really does is boost your volume. Unless you have, um, unless you have an amp that's driving, um, then it'll, it'll push that drive a little bit more. If you, you can run this pedal into another overdrive and it'll push it a little bit more. I typically don't do that. Um, I bought this pedal honestly because it was only 50 bucks new. And I was like, yeah, I'll have another boost pedal. So I use it. I use it at home when I'm hurrying up and setting up a little pedal board. And maybe my other pedals are all in the gig bag and I don't feel like messing with them. So this is like a this is like a B team guy. But it's good. This is a a fine pedal. Would I ever replace the EP booster with the mini, the Spark Mini booster? Absolutely not. There's no reason at all on earth to do that. This pedal, super duper. Much like this, it's just boosting volume. It can boost the uh, gain of a, of a driving amp. The other thing about this pedal is if you run something like the Rumble Drive into it, as opposed to, it just gives it a lot more low end um, and a lot more punch. It's a wonderful pedal. Um, I've heard it said that it colors the tone. I don't care. It's a great pedal. And it's part of this magical combination that I like to put pedals in between. The SP compressor, the EP booster, my basket of tone. Talked about it many times. Okay. On to this, the Dumble, I mean, sorry, Dumble, the Dunlop volume, expression, and, uh, no, it's just volume and expression. It's the volume expression mini pedal. Um, I like this pedal a lot. It can be used as an expression pedal. I don't use it for that because I've got the Hotone, or Hot One, I don't know what you call it. Um, I only use this as a volume pedal, but I, I do not like to be without a volume pedal, and I do not like taking up extra board space. 
just to have a volume pedal. This is a fine volume pedal. The taper is great. It doesn't cause any problems. It doesn't even need a battery. I can, it has a tuner out and so I can just always have any tuner on without having to uh, cut my signal. And then people are like, well, what about the sound of you tuning on stage? Well, you do this, you know, it's pretty simple. This is the way to go. It does really great volume swells. It's fantastic. Oh, then we'll move on to this, this pedal. This is like the black, uh, you know, the, the ugly duckling. Um, this pedal I do not like that much. Um, it's already broken back here, so I had to attach a wire to it. Uh, this guy cost 20 bucks on Amazon, and let me tell you, it's not worth anything more than that. Um, reason that I don't like it is I don't think that it's very accurate. If I put this up against my Boss TU2, Boss TU2 is way more accurate, and it's got other features, and it's cool. This guy I don't like. But, I will continue to use it until it completely breaks. It's only good with this pedal because I don't like shutting off my sound to tune. Alright. Moving on. Here is an amazing thing. The Ensemble King Chorus. This is an analog chorus. And... There's nothing that special. I said it was amazing, didn't I? Okay, it's, it's really good. Um, because it's really good when all you want out of a chorus is this. And that's really all that I want out of a chorus, right? I don't need my chorus to do anything else. Um, I have a... TC Electronic Corona Chorus. I use it sometimes. It sounds really good. You can get a nice lush sound, um, but I, I don't really use that as much anymore. Um, really, this is all that I need in a chorus. Would I use this instead of the Coronas? Yeah, I do it all the time. Um, is it a good pedal? Yes. Is it... Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I just... This is fine for a chorus. I, I use less and less chorus. Now look, it's making all kinds of noises. Oh, all my pedals are. Sorry. That's my cables. But um, the thing that I don't like about these cheap Donner or Moore or Donner pedals is the true bypass switch usually makes some awful noise through the amp. Uh, so that's one thing I would complain about. Uh, I've done a, a, um, a review on this pedal before, the Yellow Fall. I, I think this pedal is fantastic. Really. Uh, this is just an analog delay. And it's anything I would want. Yeah, I played it yesterday for a gig and it was fantastic. Good, good pedal. Um, and if you want to watch my comparison of this and the, um, MXR carbon copy, you can do that. It stacks up pretty well, and it's only like 30 some bucks. All right, and here it is my favorite mini pedal. Is it my favorite mini? No, probably that and that and that. I don't know. This is one of my favorites. It's always on my board. Um, just listen, there's no other, no other effects, okay? What clean ambient player does not want that tone? I mean, I mean, take it up by two and a half inches by one inch. It's it's great. If you want a different reverb, uh, you can get the stupid app on your phone and beam other people's settings into this. But I picked that uh, room with a view because it kind of takes the place of a chorus. I don't really need this. So I can just go with this and have reverb and chorus all in one. Um, I can even do some really great, you know. Oh, 
like the swells are cool crank it up or so it's a good one uh, does this take the place of my MXR M300? Doesn't take the place, but often it does. I mean, I take this out on gigs more than the MXR because the MXR is a pain in the butt. You need a, a special, um, you need a special uh, power supply for it because it takes up too much uh, juice for a regular power supply. Uh, these guys can all run on a regular, uh, you know, less than 100 milliamp power supply. Uh, so it's fine. Um, but this pedal is fantastic. I love it. I'll often leave it on right about here all the time. Even with the fender reverb from the amp going, it's, it's really great. And so, uh, my stance on these pedals is if it are mini pedals worth it is yeah, they're worth it But I would never put together a board like this. I mean, I guess I could I could go out and do a gig with this board um, But the truth is I would want to pick one or two bigger pedals to put in here uh, with all of this stuff and so I would never have just a board of mini pedals. I think they're just like any other pedals. If uh, if they do what you're looking for them to do, then they're great. If they don't, then they stink and you leave them at home. If you're a pedal collector, like I sort of am, I'm starting to be. Um, you know, these this is these are all good to have. They're all they're all fine. All right. So if you have any questions, that's great. If not, um, I say peace to you and everybody have a great day. See you later.